In today's video, we're going to show you how to complete an Amazon FBA shipment from beginning to end. We'll cover everything from prepping books to listing, pricing, labeling, shipping, and everything in between. And by the end of the video, you'll be able to complete your first shipment. And if you've done this before, this video will be a good refresher for how to create shipments in 2022. You might even find some helpful tips and tricks to improve your operations. Here's Troy from Bookseller Academy showing you his operations process. So we got some books here that my business partner brought in. Uh, we're gonna actually go through the whole entire process. Most of these books have labels on it. So first thing I'm doing, I'm gonna take off the labels first. I got a Scotty Pillar, you can get those from Amazon. And I'm just pulling off these stickers. I'm gonna do an inspection and grade them right away. I usually downgrade from very good to good. Typically, this would be a very good book, but I like to make sure that the, the buyer's really happy. So I'm gonna leave it at good. The price difference between very good and good, it's very small. The point is, is you really wanna get these books moving. You know, there are some price wars out there, but also people wanna have some value. And then they get more excited when they order something that was good, and it's actually phenomenal. I'm just looking for highlights. Do I clean my books? Nah, I mean, it really depends on the source. Maybe I'll kind of wipe it down. All right, so check this out. So there's actually a dedication here. I'm gonna have good and then good with like a small dedication on the front page. So check this out, it has a little bit of warping right here. Acceptable. Acceptable. You see that there's some highlighting right there? There's good with dedication and some with highlighting. Got another good book, but I'm bringing it down to acceptable. I don't really like the just how the book cover looks like. It's really the first impression for, for the customer. This, this book should have a CD and it doesn't. A lot of um, customers are gonna ask if there's a CD with this book, because it says includes guided hypnosis. So I'm just gonna go acceptable, and I actually have a no CD included condition in the software. Look, we've got some paper inside here. All right. So as you see, you don't need to spend too much time scrutinizing each book. Really what you wanna do is kind of undergrade them just to make sure that your buyer is gonna be happy. If they're happy, there's a better chance that they'll give you a five-star rating, and that will help your business. All right, so we are listing the books now on our Bookseller Academy software, tools.bookselleracademy.com. So as you log in, uh, since we're gonna list these books for FBA, we're just gonna go list FBA, list FBA products. Uh, I'm gonna set up, we're gonna do a price as you go feature. The cost of goods is $1 and the quantity is one each. So from a condition note standpoint, we are starting with this acceptable no CD. So I have a condition note that says acceptable no CD. It says no CD, a readable copy. And you could uh, copy these condition notes from our website, booksellacademy.com, which has these uh, condition notes ready for you. Moving the cursor to the barcode area, I have a scanner that's always on and I'm gonna bring the book in. I'm just gonna scan. Japan's reluctant realism. All right, Realm. We got a $75 book here. Uh, the ranking is 2 million, but let's see if it sells. Okay, so the last time that it sold was in February. Okay, now it's all, all over the board. We got new merchant fulfilled at 27, new FBA at 64. So I'm probably gonna price this at 50. $34 profit. What do we got here? Lesbian Gay Parenting Handbook, $32. I like it. Profit, $21.48. Rank is good, under a million. Let's look at the sales count. Mm -hmm. So what the software does, it ag aggregates all the dips into one month. So that means that the book sold four times in January. Technically, yes. Okay, so the, the current rank is about 900,000. Yeah. That adds up to about once a week that it's yeah. selling. So these white bars, that's actually last year's data. So you see that this book really sells between the months of June, July, August, September, October. So we're setting the price. $21 profit, dressage and harmony. I like it, let's see what we got here. Look at these prices, used FBA, $32.98. I'm just matching good, because we have a repricer that's gonna try to uh, match that. You could, again, look at like some of our pricing strategies on our other videos, but we are just going through the listing process. $19 profit, setting price. Living in the presence, $13.50, setting the price. $5 profit. If you were to source this really fast, then I'll take $5 books all day. Yeah. 
So I'm just looking at from a unit place and really trying to showcase how easy it is to really list these things. So you can set your condition notes once and then have access to them at any time. It's a big one. 1.9 million rank, but look at the used merchant fulfilled. Lowest one is 42.84. Let's estimate the sales counts. Sales counts look good. We got a sale in February. This was the lowest cost, but we want this book to move. I'm getting the lowest price right here. $27 profit. This is the world to come. Come 17.99. I like it. Got $8 profit on that one. 19.62. I like it. What is the Messiah Passover? $17.98, $6 profit, I like it. We got a jewel of abundance, a jewel of abundance, okay. What are your thoughts when you see that there are no used FBA options? Does that mean that I shouldn't sell it? No, you should definitely sell it because now you're the only person in that market selling a used book. The demand is definitely there. I'm gonna price this at, because the new FBA right here is $15.48, gonna go $14. And then finally, we got a very good leather book here. This was probably a type in for you. So you typed in this ISBN and- I actually used the Bookseller Academy tools, oh, iOS app to find these books. You could download that from the app store right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna type this one in. All right, here's a cool thing, right? Cause sometimes you'll get a hardback of this. Mm -hmm. We also bring back the data. So it is a leather bound. 1464, very good. When you're done with the actual batch, you're just gonna hit submit products, final review. This is your final, final check before you send it off to Amazon. So we're gonna scroll up. We can look at the summary report and see how you did for this half a box. You got $231 profit for half a box. Cost of goods is $30. FBA fees total is 274. Shipping fees is $15. And your average rank is just under a million. So from there, we are hitting submit products. It's gonna submit this file over to your Amazon account. It's gonna take about 30 minutes for everything to synchronize. Usually what I do is I have a cup of coffee, whatever, or I work on another batch from that point. Just finished listing the books. All the books are in order. So now we're just gonna create a new shipment. You're going to list FBA and then you're actually gonna go to your history or you could go create shipping plans. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna pull up your history. You could see that we had a batch of 30 books added for today. This is the summary in case you're running multiple batches. So it's this is gonna be your first and last book. So this is Walking With God 365 Daily Devotions. 365 Daily Devotions. I can make you happy is at the bottom. We are going to create a new shipment, enter in your company name, your address, city, state, zip code. So we'll just create a nickname for this, plan name, YouTube. And we're, all we're doing right now is we are creating a shipping plan. This doesn't mean that we are shipping the books. We are just creating a plan in Amazon because you could create more batches if you want and add to this existing plan. And the plan is useful because it allows you flexibility. Yeah. It doesn't mean you have to do everything at one time. You can come back later and continue the process or you can add more items. Create shipping plan. So now we're going into the Amazon account. Okay, we are in Amazon Seller Central. Uh, this is kind of their new interface for 2022 if you updated their navigation system. Or if you're a brand new seller, this is what you're gonna see. So in the left-hand corner, you're gonna do this drop down right here. And you're gonna go into inventory and you wanna go to manage FBA shipments. You're gonna be using manage FBA shipments a lot. So my recommendation is to go ahead and flag this. And what that's gonna happen is manage FBA shipments is always gonna be at the top left-hand corner right here for you. So now we're in manage FBA shipments. So right now, these are the current shipping plans that happened in the past. We are going to shipping plan section, which is right here, hit shipping plan. You'll see that there's a new shipping plan name called YouTube demo. And here's the shipping plan ID. And here's how many units, which was 30. So you could see that it uploaded already. We could go ahead and work on the shipping plan. All right, so we just created the shipment. Now we are going to label the books. So to do that, we are gonna go into Bookseller Academy and then we are going to to print label. So these steps are here for you, right? We just listed FBA. Now we can just create shipment plan. Now we can go to the print the, the labels. And it's recommended that you follow these steps in that sequence. Yeah, that kind of pushes the API forward. So it's a little bit faster. All right, so now we're looking at the history here. 
the summary shows that we just created a shipping plan. So this shipping plan needs to show. In order for you to print labels, you have to create a shipping plan and then you'll have these two different options. You can print Avery 30 ups or Dymo labels. We have a Dymo label printer, Label Writer 400. I think you could go with the 450, that's the latest. So from there, we're just gonna click print Dymo labels. It's going to bring up a PDF right here. Let's bring up the PDF, hit Control P for print or you hit the print button, we are just gonna select the Dymo label printer. And you're printing within Chrome. That's a recommended way to do this. Yeah, I like Chrome. The browser is a little bit faster. On the paper side, for these specific labels, uh, it's gonna be 30256. Okay. And then we're gonna hit print. We are now gonna label the books. It should be all in order. I'm just looking at it, making sure it matches, flipping it over. Go through the labeling process. Make sure you cover the barcode. All the books should be in order when you're labeling. I'm just checking the title, making sure the title matches on the label with the book, and I'm covering up the barcode. So I'm gonna just do this really quickly because everything should be in order. So again, just wanna cover up the barcode as much as possible. 30 books labeled. So now that we got all our books labeled, we're gonna go back into Amazon. So we're gonna to go to shipping plans. We're gonna go into our YouTube demo. We're gonna work on the shipping plan. We're just looking at the quantity. Everything is one. We have 30 books, hitting continue. Looks like we have to check for prep required. Just making sure the packaging, no prep required. I'm gonna hit continue. All right, now we're in the labeling uh, section. Who labels the merchant? Yes, we did label all these books. We're gonna hit continue. And now it's gonna find where we're gonna ship these books to. Usually if you send in more than 50 books, you get one fulfillment center. So we got lucky this time, 30 units going to Goodyear, Arizona. Hit approve and continue. All right, now we actually have approved a shipping plan and let's look at the difference of approved shipment versus a shipping plan. So if we go back to FBA shipments and if we go to shipping plans, You'll see that the shipping plan is now gone. It has been moved to the uh, proof status. Here it is, 30 units. We're gonna work on the shipment. We're gonna go through box content. I think we could fit all these books into one box, but we're just gonna go through box content just so we have an idea of what goes into the box. If you wanna go into detail of how box content works, we have another video that you could click. We're gonna go through the box content process. Anyways, this is the shipment name ID. We're back to Bookseller Academy list FBA, and then going into box content. Okay, we're gonna enter the shipping plan ID which that, I, that I copied, and we're gonna hit start box contents. Now before that, let's go ahead and create a box. I really like the lows. The size that I really like to work with is 12 by 12 by 16. We have the box. So I'm doing box content, but I'm using a handheld scanner. This is a KDC 200i that you could get from Amazon. I like the handheld because I'm actually working with putting the books in the box. I have my box content set up. The shipping ID is already set. The cursor is on the FN SKU area. We are in box one. Usually if you have multiple boxes, you'll see how the workflow goes, but we're just making sure that this shipment actually has this book. Abundance. So I'll show you right now that you could switch from different boxes. So if right now we're working on box one and just imagine if we filled up that box, you can hit next and then it'll go to box two. You'll get a notification that anything that you scan for needs to be going into box two. But since we have a very limited amount of inventory, we're only gonna go into box one. But again, usually you're shipping 150, 200 books at a time. You're gonna have to do box content. And all box content is is really just identifying what items go into what box. Cause sometimes Amazon doesn't open the box. They just believe that you have that box and they're shipping it off to another fulfillment center. All right, now we got the box content set. Everything is all good. Uh, for box content, we're just gonna go down. Since this is only one single box, we are gonna put everything in one box. Just asking how this shipment will be packed. And now it's asking for the box weight and the box dimensions. Now the box weight, make sure you don't go over 50 pounds. Just 
should flip easily like that. All right, now let's weigh this thing. All I'm using here is I'm just using this smart weigh system. You can probably get one of these at like Amazon. It's really cheap, maybe like 30 bucks. But get a digital weight system. That's what I like. Right now it's at zero pounds. Putting the box on top at 26.84. I'm gonna measure the box real quick. It's gonna be 16. The height is about 10. And I know the width is gonna be about 12. So back on the software, what we're gonna do is the box weight is 26.95. It's gonna be 12 by 16 by nine. Rolling down, we wanna hit confirm. Then we have our shipping charges. We're gonna calculate $8.51 to ship it out. I agree, and we're gonna accept the charges. So you can print this out on any type of label. UPS has some free labels, but I actually have a Zebra printer that, that's specifically for the UPS labels. So I'm just confirming the ship date right now. I'm gonna ship it out this Friday. I'm gonna print box labels. There's these labels that you can get from UPS, sticky labels, and actually these are free. As long as you have a UPS account, and it's gonna print out here. we're just gonna seal it real quick. What I usually do is put the UPS label on the left and the FBA fulfillment label on the right. And now we are shipping it out to UPS. You can drop this off at any UPS store or have UPS to schedule pick it up. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe. If you'd like to try a risk-free trial of the software in this video, click the link below. And for another video from Bookseller Academy, click here.